Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these symmetrical elegant bugle beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. And you are invited to ask me in the comments anything that crosses your mind about my work. By the way, you could skip these teardrop earrings and make them just like this or put here a pearl or anything else that you have. They are not obligatory if you don't have them. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Tell me if you want to make a matching bracelet. Maybe I'll make it anyways, but... Uh, you could share in the comments what you think. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. And I would like to ask you one more time, please share, like and comment if you like my content. You help me so much only with this action. So now guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads. I use this chameleon color and white color and these here are bugle beads in creamy color and this blue color. Here I use teardrop crystal that is also a blue color. You could skip it uh, and do them without it or use a pearl or a round bead instead of it, whatever you like but I really like how it looks here. Uh, I'm using two of them, but one of them is already on my first earring that I did. That is why here I'm showing one. And these are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and now what I'm going to do is pick up two of these blue bugle beads and one creamy bugle bead. Okay, this is what I have. And now guys, I'm going to slide those down. I will stick here my needle on my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And here... After I make my loop, I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then what I want to do is make one more knot. And now I have this. Now I'm going through this bugle bit to the center of my work. Okay, and here what I want to do is take one blue bugle and one creamy bugle. Okay, this is my second step. And I'm going back in circle through this one here, just like that. By the way, these bugles are glass bugles. That is why some people use monofil not monofilament, but uh, fire line. Because they could cut through some threads. So it's a good idea also to use fire line instead of monofilament. Okay, so now I will repeat the same thing. I'm taking a creamy and a blue one because I want the creamy to be at the outside and the blue one to be at the inside. That is why now I first take a creamy and then a bugle. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going here through the creamy. And then I'm going through the blue one to the center. And now here I will first take a blue one and then a creamy one. Okay. And I'm going back here like this. Okay, then I go in this direction through this blue one. And now I will first take a creamy one because it's my outside color. And then I will take a blue one, okay? Then I go back here through this one, just like this. And now, guys, my goal is to go through this creamy one 
Then I want to go through this blue one to the center. Through the following blue. And here I want to take a creamy one. And I'm going back here through this. And then here in this direction. Okay, so now I have this. And what I want to do in my next step is go through this creamy one. And I'm going to add around this chameleon 11 all beads. I will add them everywhere around here. Okay, and what I want to do next is go through one of my creamy beads just like this and I'm going to take a blue one, go back here in circle just like this, then again through this one and through the creamy bugle bead, take one blue and go back here in this direction. Okay, and I will do this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do is go through one of those blue beads okay, in this direction and now it's easier for me to flip my work in this direction. Okay, and I'm flipping it and what I want to take here are three blue beads and I'm going, sorry, three white beads and I'm going through the blue bead. Then again I take three more white beads and I go through the blue one. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three white beads from this row and what I want to do next is go here through the first white bead, just like that. I'm going to take three chameleon beads, skip the one in the center, so I'm exiting out of this one here, the first one, if you don't see my thread here it is, skipping the next one and going through the following. Now this is what I have, then I go through the first white, take three, Skip the next and go here just like this. Then I take three. Skip the next and go just like this. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue this three more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go here and exit of this bead that's sticking out the most. And now I'm going to show you how to attach this teardrop crystal. As I told you, you could skip it, don't add it. Or add a round bead instead of it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add it. I'm taking five chameleon beads, then I'm taking my crystal, going through it, just like this, slide it down, and now I'm going to take three white beads, okay, I have them here, and I will also slide those down, okay, now I have this, now I'm going back through the crystal and I'm going through the four 
of those five beads that I added here through four of them. Okay. Then what I do is go in this direction and you see here the one that I didn't go through. I take another one like this and go here through this central bead, okay? You could go and reinforce your work one more time, uh, but I want it to dangle, that is why I won't go one more time through it. It's not obligatory. Okay, then I will go in this direction, pull it and you see what I have. Then I will go back through this creamy bugle bead here. Then through this blue bugle bead here in the center. And here guys, I'm going to add just one white bead in the center of my work and exit here. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through this bugle in this direction and my goal is to exit here back through this one and through the opposite bit of this one because here I want to attach my earring finding. Okay. And in order to do this, I'm taking my earring finding just like this. I take one white bead, then my earring finding, and then I take just one more white bead. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back in circle through this chameleon bead. Now I have this. And I will go one more time reinforcing it. Okay, you could do this several times, not only two times, but three or four times, whatever. And then in my next step, I'm going in this direction because I want to make some knots and cut my thread. And how I'm making my knot, I'm making here a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made, I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from and I pull. And by the way, guys, you could repeat this knot several more times to be sure that it's all tight and secure. And when you make your last knot, you go through the next few seed beads and cut your thread. And now your earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my symmetrical Bugle Beats earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button, and in this way you will be notified when I have matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Uh, if you hit the bell, you will know when I make bracelet matching these earrings, and you will be able to make it by yourself. And besides, I will be so glad to have you as a viewer. Down there in the description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to my second channel, Bijuteu Fast Clips, where in just two, three minutes, you could see a whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. And you will also find links to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.